Please be seated. If you want to give me a standing ovation later, you can do so. In classrooms and boardrooms, in laboratories and hospitals, in corridors of power and in halls of state, in think tanks and newsrooms and courtrooms in spaces both virtual and real, and environments both natural and built. This is your future in fields and industries across all sectors of human enterprise. Welcome, class of 2015, to the rest of your life. I. I'm John Coleman, I'm the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, and I am concluding my first year here on the University of Minnesota uh, campus, and it is my absolute delight to be with you all here today. It is my great pleasure as well to welcome parents and families, supporters and friends to our May 2015 commencement. Welcome also to our special guest on the dais today, Regent Peggy Lucas, Vice Provost and Dean of Undergraduate Education, Robert McMaster, and our keynote speaker, Santino Fontana. Today, we celebrate the culmination of a personal and educational journey that began the very first day that you set foot on this campus, and what a journey it has been. What we celebrate today are beginnings, not endings. We celebrate not just who you are, but who you will become. Teachers, thought leaders, entrepreneurs, community leaders, artists, builders, poets, scientists, world travelers, change makers. All of us on this stage once stood where you are, not quite sure exactly where our futures would lead or where we would lead our futures. And we could not, none, as we could not, none of you can know exactly where you will be 10, 20, or 50 years from now. You may have a plan that you intend to follow, but you will also find that opportunities appear in the most unexpected and unplanned ways. But wherever you go from here in the decades ahead, I can tell you this, you will look back on your years at the U as a time of transformation. You will remember a time of fun and new friendships, the traditions and pride that link you to generations of other gophers, and choosing from among the amazing array of fields of study and activities available at the U. You will remember a time of huge dreams and ambitions, beliefs challenged and values tested, new paths discovered, and new prospects unfolding every single day. There is, I would suggest, no better preparation for the real world and real life than the liberal arts education that has brought you to this day and that now launches you to your future. The road you have traveled to this day has not always been smooth, to be sure, and that's been a benefit to you. Receiving your degree today is a sign that you have grit, 
and determination, two things that we like to think are emblematic of Minnesotans. These will be priceless assets for you because the road ahead will also offer, offer up its shares of bumps, potholes, and hairpin turns. Your degree is no guarantee of a straight and steady course toward a predetermined destination. But I can promise you this, with your University of Minnesota education as your own personal GPS, you will find creative ways to navigate rough roads and to turn surprises into revelations, detours into discoveries, risks into rewards, twists and turns into avenues of growth and forward momentum. You and others of your generation will decide what kind of world this will be in 50 years. That's exciting and it's also a pretty heavy responsibility. But we, as CLA faculty, staff, and leadership, share that responsibility with you. We've dedicated ourselves to ensuring that you are well prepared to live thoughtful, productive, and rewarding lives amid the daunting challenges of this century. We've given you stores of knowledge, conceptual and analytical tools, and methods of inquiry and discovery. We have introduced you to alums and friends of CLA who have shared their paths with you to help mentor you toward your future. But what we haven't given you, and what we really shouldn't try to give you, is turn-by-turn -turn navigation for your future. Because if there's anything we know, or we think that we know about you, it's that you're not very interested in following a beaten path. You choose to map your own course. We know you will take calculated risks. You will experiment and improvise. You will explore the unpaved road and the road less taken. You will ask your own questions and find your own truths. And that is exactly as it should be. The freedom, indeed the imperative to ask questions, is, after all, one of the beauties and hallmarks of your liberal arts education. And it is at the core of a successful life. It is a prerequisite to any course of creative thinking and innovation. It is what will help you lead the change you hope to see, whether that change is in an organization, a community, an industry, or the nation or the world. Now I know that many of you who are graduating worry about what the decades ahead might hold, and your parents and families likewise worry about what the decades might, ahead might hold and what your first steps after college will be like. One thing we all know is that this young century's hallmark is uncertainty and change. Constant, rapid, sometimes dizzying, and often very exciting change. But all of us on this stage absolutely believe that you are up to the challenge and that a liberal arts education puts you in a position to adapt and to thrive. And I can assure you of this, you, our graduates at the University of Minnesota in the College of Liberal Arts are among the very best in the land. That doesn't mean everyone graduates with a 4.0 GPA. What it does mean is that you've already made your mark. You've demonstrated your gifts, talents, and promise in so many ways. You've shown the grit and determination that I mentioned that will carry you far. And I know this because in my year here, I have had conversations with many of you and been so impressed. And I've seen your creative and intellectual work. I've seen your dedication to service and to good works. I've seen your courage and your resilience in the face of struggle. And I've heard your professors hold forth about your uncommon capacity for critical inquiry, creative and independent thinking, and problem solving. You should feel very, very proud of all that you have already accomplished and what you stand to accomplish in the years ahead. You will make the world better. I truly believe that. It gives me great pride to celebrate this occasion with you and to salute you as you graduate from the University of Minnesota and the College of Liberal Arts as a member of the class of 2015. You are joining around 150,000 proud and accomplished CLA alumni who are making a difference in every sector of human endeavor. And you are, you are joining the hundreds of thousands of members of Gopher Nation across the country 
and across the world. I extend to you and your families my very warmest congratulations. Graduates, I invite you now to join us in taking a moment to thank some special people. You and I both know that you did not get here without the support and encouragement of people close to you. Today, we have a chance to thank those who have stood by your side, all those who have supported, loved, and nurtured you over the years. If you are a parent, grandparent, guardian, friend, aunt or uncle, spouse, life partner, child, or relative of one of our graduates, I ask you now to please stand if you're able and allow the class of 2015 to give you their thanks. Please stand. Nothing gives me more pride and greater pleasure than to recognize the outstanding achievements of CLA's talented students. And so it is a special treat to introduce our student speaker, Kim Lee Young. Kim Lee Young grew up in Singapore, the fourth child of parents who struggled so their children would all graduate from college. Today, she is graduating summa cum laude with a BA in psychology and a minor in leadership studies. She was on the dean's list throughout her college years and was in the university's honors program. She is also a teaching assistant for leadership courses. Kim's strengths also extend well beyond the classroom. She is a group fitness yoga instructor at the recreational center, and she has been a mentor in the first year leadership lead up program, an officer in Lean In, a program for women, a member of the university's the university women's ultimate Frisbee club, and a volunteer for Students Against Hunger. Please join me in welcoming a remarkable young woman, Kim Lee Young. Thank you, Dean Coleman. Good morning, advisors, professors, staff, and distinguished guests. Most of you must be wondering who I am or why I am standing here to address you. Let me assure you I'm having the same questions myself. Not only do I look different, but I also sound different and use different words. Maybe some of you may recognize me if I was holding my yoga mat, which I sometimes refer to as my third hand. Maybe some of you may find me familiar if you frequent Blarneys. <laughs> but more importantly, I am deadly afraid of public speaking. What am I doing here then, speaking in front of thousands of people? But truly, it doesn't matter. This speech isn't about me, and today is not about my achievements. Today is about us, we, our accomplishments. All of us enter college at different places, but here we are ending on the same page. So today is about shared experiences. My fellow graduates, today is our celebration. On one hand, being different can be good. Liberal arts students are sometimes misunderstood. I'm sure we have all heard at least one negative stereotype surrounding majoring liberal arts. Take, for example, people think we study easy majors. Yeah, try studying the neoclassicism development of the late Roman economy. <laughs> but in reality, you and I know better. When I see all of us sitting here today, regardless of our majors, I see a room full of people who aren't afraid to be who they want to be, 
rather than to conform towards what they think they have to be. I see a cohort of students who truly care for change towards a better world. I see a room of people who are brave, who are passionate, and who have the courage to stand out and pursue what they love. I see diversity in my graduating class. I see acceptance and I see freedom. We all have that one defining life-changing moment in our college lives. For me, that happened when I had to stand in front of my leadership class, just like what I'm doing right now, well, but with less people. It was called the love-hate assignment because I had to pick a piece of writing and sing about it. I was afraid, as usual, but sang with my heart I did to Imagine by John Lennon. When I was done, the room was still and you could hear a pin drop. My instructor, David, then said to me, Kim, I want you to remember this moment forever, the time where you silenced the whole class. And in that moment, I knew I was somebody. And the truth is, we all are. We are somebody, and we can choose to be an unstoppable force. Success shouldn't be measured in terms of monetary gains and positional power. Success is defined by you and not others. We are winners and we are leaders. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I know I'm not the only one. So keep aspiring and inspiring feels in whatever you do in the future and never stop creating change. Obstacles will be there, but I hope you stay true to your values and resilient to your goals. There is a quote that says, for a star to be born, there is one thing that must happen. A gaseous nebulae must collapse. So collapse, crumble. This is not your destination. This is your birth. But stars are not isolated as well. I want to let each and every one of you know that you are never truly alone and you will never be because we are people who love us so selflessly. I hope you will learn to lean into your support system in times of challenges and celebration. These are the people who got us here today, advisors, professors, family, friends, and loved ones. Last but not least, I want to show gratitude to my hardworking and intelligent parents who were too poor to afford college. Fortunately, my parents didn't let that stop them and painstakingly worked their way to success. Because my mom and dad understood the challenges and regrets of being unable to receive higher education, they made a promise that all their children will never have to go through the same suffering. Today marks the day that my parents will finally fulfill their promise as I am their fourth and last child to graduate. <laughs> Being fearless doesn't mean having no fear. Being fearless means engaging in spite of fear. Before I left home three years ago to come here, my father made a wish hoping that I would someday be invited to stand on this podium and to speak. So today, I am standing here to address you guys because I want to show you that we can do the things that scares us for the people we love. Don't let fear consume you. Graduation is scary. The future and the unknown is scary. But think about all the amazing things that you can achieve if you weren't afraid. Always choose love over fear, my fellow graduates. Always choose love. Namaste, thank you. At commencement, we celebrate the achievements and the promise of students who will become tomorrow's leaders, entrepreneurs, creative, creative artists, and public servants. And we invite as keynote speakers people who model the highest ideals of leadership and public service. 
It is my great honor and pleasure to introduce such a person as today's keynote speaker, Santino, Santino Fontana, class of 2004. When we admit students to CLA, we expect that they will go places, but we, always, we don't always get to see where they go and how far. Not so with Santino. Santino's path to stardom began here at the turn of the century when he was admitted to the first class in CLA's then new BFA actor training program, a collaboration with the Guthrie Theater. Since then, his path has been lit by Klieg lights and he has been showered in accolades as an actor, director, singer, dancer, composer, and director. He made his first appearance in a BFA production in 2001, and in 2004, he was cast as the lead in the Guthrie's production of Hamlet, chosen from roughly 150 actors who auditioned nationwide. In 2010, he received a Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Featured Actor in a Play for his role in, on Broadway in Brighton Beach Memoirs. Two months after that play closed, an onstage injury forced him to drop out of A View from the Bridge with Scarlett Johansson. A few months later, he was back on stage. When he was cast as the Prince Topher in the 2013 Broadway production of Cinderella, Santino told reporter Brandon Voss, last year I was playing a guy who thought he was dying. So I'm totally happy to jump into something where I get to fall in love on stage, sing gorgeous songs, and be the nicest person in the room. For that performance, he was nominated for a Tony Award for Best Leading Actor in a Musical. Recently, he was the voice of Prince Hans in Frozen. <laughs> and this year, he will become the first guest artist to perform three times in the space of one year with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. His Broadway credits include roles in Act One, The Importance of Being Earnest, A View from the Bridge, and Billy Elliot, The Musical. He has also appeared in films and on TV, including in a 2010 episode of The Good Wife. And this year, he is appearing in the upcoming film Sisters with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Please welcome Santino Fontana. Thank you very much, and I love the, the cheering for Frozen. I think that is the most amazing thing in the world. And hilarious, yeah, bring it on. Let's do it. You're gonna be my Facebook friend by the end of this. Um, I wanna thank everybody, first of all, just for uh, having me. And first of all, class of 2015, congratulations. I am honored, surprised, and concerned that I was chosen to be your speaker. Deeply frightened by it, to be honest. Um, I promise to be brief so that the drinking, I mean the celebrating, can begin. Yeah. Also Facebook friends. Um, then we'll move on. First, um, you've accomplished no small feat. I remember when I graduated, all I heard was people complaining that the ceremony was gonna be too long, the festivities leading up to it and following it were too much, and I'm here to tell you they're wrong. You began this journey a long time ago, and today you've come to a special milestone. Today, you've earned the right to celebrate. Yes. So reminisce and waste as much time as you want thinking about you and the years that you've spent to get here. In fact, I encourage you to, I beg you to. You most likely have no clue who I am, but tough, because I'm here. <laughs> uh, and I don't blame you. Mo most of the time, I barely know who I am myself. I, uh, I spend most of my time trying to be anyone but myself. I'm an actor. As Adeem was saying, I, uh, I tell other people's stories. And I've been lucky to have played, as he said, a Danish prince right here in Minneapolis at the Guthrie. I've sung with the New York Philharmonic and Lincoln Center, and I shot a movie with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, and I, uh, last Christmas I performed with Big Bird, Elmo, and Cookie Monster, which was surreal. <laughs> there is a doll of me 
from Frozen. By the way, someone tweeted me, they wanted me to sing from Frozen. I have three words for you, let it go. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Um, maybe later. Uh, I've, been, um, I've been incredibly lucky incredibly lucky and uh, incredibly unlucky as well, which I will get to, but people don't mention when they're unlucky in their bios or their introductions, and that's some of what I'm gonna do today. I, in being chosen to speak to you, I thought, you know, what could I possibly share with them? I thought, when I graduated, what, do I, what did I want to hear? And what did I need to hear? A funny side note, I don't remember a single thing from my graduation. <laughs> I don't know why, and I'm gonna talk to somebody about it, but just keep that in your head. Uh, anyway, I literally Googled, what should I say in my commencement speech? <laughs> and after trolling YouTube, I fell upon a pretty tried and true list of cliches. And there's validity into repeating them because there's a reason they're cliches. There's, there's some truth in there somewhere. And I'll hit some of them as we go, but uh, what I was unable to avoid in preparing my remarks was that I couldn't really end up only speaking about fictional characters I pretended to be. And unfortunately, I wasn't given a script. I tell other people's stories, but today I'm gonna have to tell you a bit of my own, so I apologize in advance. Not to worry, this isn't a story just about an actor, but a guy who's constantly been searching for a place to belong to reach a level of contentment and serenity while also feeling vigorously satisfied and productive. I'm a graduate of this very same college. Oh yes, I ate at Middlebrook. I know that cereal bar very well. I lived across the street from Granny's, which I don't even know is there anymore. Uh, while living in a dorm, I wore shower shoes. I carried a bucket with soap and shampoo into the shower 50 feet from my room every day. I've been here, I've done that, I've got the t-shirt. My name is Santino Fontana. I say that because I've been called many, many things. In grade school, I was often referred to as Santiago. In high school, my PE teacher called me Santino Fontaneno. All four years. My fiance sometimes calls me Persistent Peter, which I initially thought was crazy, but in preparing my remarks for all of you, I understand now why she calls me that. And upon closer inspection, it may be safer to just describe me as plain old crazy. I'm from a small town in Washington State where I knew no one. Yo, really? <laughs> we'll carpool later. I'm from a small town in Washington State where I knew no one who made their living as an actor, let alone in the arts at all. Regardless of that fact, I came here to get both a liberal arts education and actor training in the first ever class of the University of Minnesota's joint actor training program with the Guthrie Theater. When I mean first ever class, I mean it. It was like the Wild West, okay? There were tumbleweeds and no one. Uh, <laughs> there were no upperclassmen, there were no role models, there was no proven track record of the program, there were no guarantees. There were just 19 crazy kids who chose one of the coldest states in the Union to study Shakespeare. At the end of my first year, it snowed on May 4th. I came back the second year, despite the weather. They called us trailblazers, I don't, don't believe them, we were guinea pigs. And we were training to go into a profession also associated with no guarantees, acting. Who the hell did I think I was? I didn't know, I still don't, but I knew what I liked doing. And then upon graduation, I got lucky and I was able to make a living from being an actor right here in Minneapolis for a while. Eventually, it felt like it was time for me to venture east to New York. I had no reason to believe that was a smart decision. I knew very few people there. I had met no agents, no producers, no one who would hire me. Yet again, another crazy decision. 
Shortly after I got to New York, I was told the following. Not in this order. You're too young. You're too old. You're too ugly. You're too good looking. You're too white. You're too ethnic. You're too short. You're, shoot, you're too tall. You're too funny. You're too serious. You're too inexperienced. You're too experienced. You're too fat. You're too skinny and more. For those of you who don't know, let me break down being an actor 101. It's not that different from any other career, I promise you. You need a job. You need an audition. An audition is a job interview. And the casting director is the gatekeeper of who gets to audition and who doesn't. Funny story, my first, this is really, this thing, really? Someone, where's the engineers? Let's get on it. Okay. My first, yeah, right? It's all right. That's gonna come up in therapy later. Uh, funny story, my first ever audition, my first ever job interview in New York City, a flamboyant and fun casting director pulled me aside after an audition. You're new, aren't you? Yes, I am. Can I give you some pointers? Oh, yes, please. You gotta change your name. I hear Santino Fontana, I wanna see some Loatian, some Samoan guy, and then you walk in and I mean, you could play Irish. <laughs> this is a true story. <laughs> What's your middle name? My middle name? Uh, it's Anthony. I got it. Tony. <laughs> Tony Fontana. I felt strongly at the time that Tony Fontana was a great name if I wanted to play pizza delivery boys for the rest of my life. <laughs> I didn't end up changing my name. I also didn't end up getting that job. <laughs> Fast forward, I had another audition that went disastrously. This time, this casting director called a friend who set up the audition for me and let me know the following. Listen, can I say something to you about Santino Fontina? Sure. If he wants to take this seriously, he really should think about studying. Now this is, keep in mind, after I graduated, after I played Hamlet, great. This is going well. Moving to New York was a good decision. I've had two auditions. One told me to change my name. The other told me to go back to school. That said, I didn't change a thing. And it's not that I didn't listen to them. It's just that there, there was an inner voice telling me to keep after doing what I loved doing that was louder. This is where the first cliche came into practice. To thine own self be true. Fast forward. Finally, I got a job. I, yeah. I did the job. I finished the job. I need another job. Why did I choose a career where I'll always need another job? I got another job. I hated the job. I took the LSATs. I didn't do badly, but I decided not to quit acting just yet. Fast forward, fall 2009, I got a juicy leading role in a Broadway show. All that hard work and struggle paid off, right? The show opens, the show closes eight performances later. That's one week. Are you following this? I'm thinking, this is insane. I gotta get out of here. Being an actor is terrible. I like acting, but I hate being an actor. Why didn't anyone warn me? Oh right, they did. The phone rings. What? What? Amazing. I'm hired in another Broadway play, in another leading role, and it starts rehearsals in two weeks. Wow, this job is a game changer. Like you said, Scarlett Johansson's in it. Uh, everyone in the industry was saying, oh, it's a job, it's a game changer, as the insiders say. And boy, were they right. Fast forward, after a complicated rehearsal process, we start performing in front of audiences, and then, bam, I got injured. My head got slammed into a table during a show. 
Lights out. Literally. Doctors told me I was lucky to be alive. I had a bruise on the back of my brain the size of a baseball. And that's why I'd been having such a hard time reading, sleeping, thinking, speaking. I couldn't get through the alphabet without stopping to remember what letter it came next. It was scary. And I felt like I was trapped in a constant state of being drunk, but not in a fun way. <laughs> uh, my doctors pulled me from the play and they confined me to a dark room without being able to use my eyes for three weeks. And again, there were no guarantees. We can't guarantee how much of your memory will come back. You may deal with migraines for the rest of your life. You may need to find a job that is not primarily dealing with cognitive abilities. I hope none of you ever have a brain injury but I kind of feel like everyone should go three weeks in a dark room without being able to use your eyes because things get surprisingly clear in there. Initially, I thought, well, this is a final sign in a long list of signs. I should not be doing this. It's just not meant to be. Maybe I'll move back to Minneapolis or to Washington and be with my family and figure something else out. But crazy one out. Six months later, I was feeling better. Now, I wish I could say I kept trying to be an actor out of righteous defiance, that I was gonna make it no matter what the cost. I'll show them, I'm gonna make a comeback, but that's not true. I just did what I liked doing. I knew that nothing would make me as happy as doing what I'd been trying to do since I graduated as a gopher. Months went by, I got better, and I just didn't go away. I just stayed doing what I wanted to do because it made me happy. And because at the end of the day, we only have control over what we do. Life is too short to spend it not doing what you love. And I don't mean do in the big sense. I mean the nitty gritty day to day doing. If you are happy when you're doing something, then you need to stay near it because it will forever be your guide. But all of this persistence, all of this craziness, it didn't seem like anything other than just doing what I do. And I think that's because I always had a voice guiding me to where I needed to be. Now, there's something I haven't told you in all of this. I think I pinpointed over the last couple days where this voice came from or who helped fan its flame. I had a mentor, a teacher, an amazing man an amazing mentor, and we've all had at least one. Mine was a man named Kenneth Washington, who I referred to as my own private Yoda. He was a tall, soft-spoken, incredibly articulate, incredibly eloquent, incredibly intelligent, kind, and knowledgeable man. He was on the faculty here. We lost him just a few months ago, and part of my wanting to come back is because I know he would have been in the back, probably up there, watching with a giant smile on his face, probably raising a drink, encouraging us to all celebrate. Quick funny side story to give you a sense of Ken. One day in class, a whiskey mill caught fire and dumped thousands of gallons of alcohol into a local river and killed all the local fish. Ken entered the classroom this day and with his unique southern voice told us the story and how the fish had died. And then he looked at us and added, at least they died happy. <laughs> that gives you a glimpse of Ken. I trust you've all had important teachers, mentors, friends there to support you and to help navigate these last years and help build a foundation for the future. But I wanted to distill down the things I think really helped me the most in navigating this crazy world. And in honor of Ken, pass on the genius that he tried to pass on to me. Things Ken would say, I think you could do better. Well, that's pretty much the old cliche, dream big, isn't it? Don't settle. We all stop ourselves from dreaming too big because we want to be realistic, but there's nothing realistic about landing on the moon before anyone had, or flying an airplane before anyone had, or being an actor for that matter. Don't worry about being realistic. Instead, re instead, 
reshape reality, whether it's yours, your communities, or the world. When I reached my dream, the second after, I literally thought, oh, I was supposed to dream big. Just when you think big is big enough or too big already, ask yourself, what is bigger? You don't need to set your dream there, but know what bigger is, because the dream you had may just be a stepping stone to the actual dream. And I'm not saying that the bigger dream is money or status. The bigger dream could be giving all of that up and living on a lake. Oops, I just gave my dream away. But if you can't think it, you can't dream it. And if you can't dream it, you can't achieve it. And for those of you who say, I don't have a dream, yes, you do. And guess what? You know what it is. Deep down, you know. And admitting it to others can be hard or embarrassing or uncomfortable or awkward or frightening and scary. And admitting it to yourself can be even harder because once you've let it out of you, you've put it out there. Not so much for others to see, but so you can see it. And that is very scary because then there's a responsibility to yourself. And the only thing worse than letting down someone else is letting down yourself. He'd also often say, there are nine different ways to skin this cat. And this isn't a taxidermy suggestion, unless there is a taxidermy major out there, in which case, go to town. When you fail, and you will, keep in mind, the more failures, the more opportunities you have for an amazing success story. But when you fail, think outside the box and keep trying every possible way you can imagine. And when you're out of ideas, ask someone else. And when you're out of people to ask, take a break, start over. Everyone's path is different, but what's amazing is that you can end up at the same destination traveling nine different roads. A related quote is, what's your rush? Ken would say this all the time, what's your rush? This is a tricky one because on one hand it implies that one should just go with the flow, which comes in all different forms. So be wary, respect your elders, give reverence, obey, be polite, play by the rules, don't rock the boat, be easy to work with. Those are all go hand in hand with what's your rush and all of those things can be good things. I don't disagree, but they don't all work all of the time. Every major movement in history, every innovation, every invention, every life-changing thought or great work of art or great thought at all broke at least one, if not all of those sayings. Not many people will tell you this as you go through life, but sometimes you need to rock the boat. And I would add doing so respectfully is important. The same way I'm asking you to question yourself to find what's right is what I'm asking here. Don't yell at your boss. Don't hit people. Don't be mean, especially to old people. But do question everything around you. And if something isn't right or if you feel something is missing, know that you have the power to help change it. The power to create it. And others have before you Rosa Parks, Jonas Salk, Mark Zuckerberg, and others will after you. And that power comes in different forms. It can mean starting a petition. It can mean talking to your friends about issues that matter to you. It can mean not listening when someone tells you you can't. Writing a letter to your senator. It, it can mean leading by example. Ken's quote that I probably remind myself of the most is, don't limit yourself. The world will try and do that. So you get your first job and then you want to change? Or you want to do something completely different, but wait, I can't, that's not who I am, it's not what I do, wrong. It may not be who you've been and it may not be what you've done, but you are not a definition. Be limitless, Defi definitionless. Be a pain in the ass for whoever writes your obituary. We can find great security in definitions and limits, but try to use them only long enough to lead you forward, then ditch them because they don't actually exist. There is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And we are capable of an infinite number of thoughts that will change an infinite number of times. There may be security in limits, but there is magic in the endless possibilities before you. My favorite thing Ken would say, don't look back, just go. Now this quote doesn't do Ken justice because he didn't say just go. 
but he somehow was able to imbue that go with a sense of reckless, yet fully conscious and informed, both rational and irrational abandon that would move the most immovable object. Just go. I hear it all the time still. And I think I've realized that if you do just go, you end up following what you've always known all along, whether you were able to articulate it or not. And inevitably, it will lead you to what you need to do. If you just go, you don't have a chance to get in your own way. So I say to you, just go. You are in charge of not only your own happiness, but your integrity and principles. They're all bank accounts that only you have access to and only you can make deposits and withdrawals. Spend wisely, but go. Whenever you're faced with something that raises into question, should I do this, should I do that? Guess what? You always know, you do, you know. And learning to trust yourself, what you know deep down, that's the hard part. Not finding the right answer, it's choosing what you know you've already chosen. Just go. When I graduated, I had no idea what I was doing, what I was gonna do, how I was gonna do it, where I was gonna do it. Looking back, I think I did know. But I didn't listen to myself, or I couldn't listen to myself, or I thought I needed somebody else to help show me what I should be doing, someone to allow me to do what I wanted. I think I thought there was some magical key out there that only a few people had access to. And my job was to find them <laughs> and get the key. Newsflash, there's no key. And the belief that someone out there has it is a waste of your time. So just go. Find what you love. Do what you love. Everything else will fall into place when you are on that pursuit. And it's okay if it changes, it probably will. Make room for that. This is where go with the flow comes in handy. And finally, a warning and a request. Life surprises everyone. It will surprise you, good and bad. I hope not too badly. The request, be compassionate. We rarely have both sides to every person's story in this life. Give people the benefit of the doubt. You never know where they just came from or what just happened to them. Assume they're trying their best. Congratulations, class of 2015. And now in the spirit of Ken Washington and all the people who have helped you get here, just go. Right, graduates, today is about you, and it is now the time that we have all been waiting for. I would like to ask the following people to, pre to present your degrees. Gary Olert, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education. Alex Rothman, Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Programs. Giovanna Delorto, Honors Faculty Representative School of Journalism and Mass Communication. Tom Clayton, Regents Professor, English Languages and Literature. And Carol Klee, Professor and Department Chair, Spanish and Portuguese Studies. Members of the class of 2015, you will cross the stage one by one as your name is read. After you have returned to your seats, please remain seated until the end of the program. Your commencement is not complete until Regent Peggy Lucas confers your degree. Just a couple of announcements before we begin. First, on page three of your program, you will find the 2015 CLA commencement hashtag. We invite you to use this to share your pictures and memories of today's event. And secondly, I have a request for our families and friends. We're not going to ask you to hold your applause to the end. You are welcome to cheer and applaud your graduating student. That is indeed the reason you are here today. But please remember that every graduate wants to hear his or her name called. 
and wants their family and friends to hear it too. So we ask you to please be considerate and simply make sure that your cheers don't drown out the name of the next student after yours. And now, on to the business at hand. Good morning. I am pleased to read the names of the honors degree candidates in the College of Liberal Arts for 2015. Honors graduates, congratulations. In 98, I was one of you. I have no idea what I did with my medallion. I'm going to go look for it once I get home. But I have never forgotten this moment. Grasp it and treasure it. Parents, families, and friends, students graduating with Latin honors have participated in a rigorous academic program culminating in an honors thesis presenting original scholarly work done under the direction of a faculty supervisor or mentor. On the path to the successful completion of the honors degree, students take honors courses and seminars as well as participate in research, scholarship, or other independent creative work both within and outside their major. To qualify, students must sustain a grade point average of at least 3.5 through their last two years of study. Students graduate with the Latin honors distinctions cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude, based on the quality of their thesis work and, their, and with their eligibility determined by their GPA. Today, they proudly wear the distinctive maroon and gold honors medallion as a symbol of their achievement. Emily Horton. Gino Marchetti the second. Evan Alexander Zimmerman. Alexander Bauer. Brandon Cooper. Eric Martina. Catherine Werdick. Samantha Sinek. Emily Humbert. Udari Buttersog. Kyle Brawl. Emily Parent. Diana Back. Yung Ki Hong. Drew Koveu. Spencer Dorf. Yao Shao. Jessica Oakvik. Christine Kao. Rebecca Rethwish. Grace Solfest. Thea Thyssen. Molly Lacey. Stacy Reiner. Haley Caldwell. Julia Walchuk. David Deal. Danielle Messaro Swichtenberg. Luke Miller. Michael Neaton. Patrick Gaffney. Oliver Alexander Adams. Kim Lee Yong. Rima Ali. Joseph Schlitz. Chance Shirley. Mackenzie Bell. Georgia Lucas. Simge Ukut. Samuel Siegel. Ian Taylor Jr. Sean Hurthy. Gabriel Ramirez Hernandez. Claire Bramel. Sarah Barkas. Sarah Carson. Brittany Kammer. Shelby Shermer. Joshua Blonsky. Wan Bing Chang. Lily O'Hara Brantner. Maria Brecky. Allison Haberstroh. Lindsay Pastorek. Ichigo Takikawa. Leandra C. Andrew Grafe. Jessica Plant. Benjamin Sly. Dean Coleman, it is my pleasure to present the honors degree candidates in the College of Liberal Arts for 2015. Lauren Druby. Alex Solstrand. Yeah. 
Megan Michaels. Devin St. Devin St. Marie. Christina Wynn. Tori Simonek. Whitney Hale. Jarrah Jansen. Alejandro Cisneros. Kimberly Stoneworth. Ram Lafada. Taylor Paul Jeremy Schmiel. Emily Youngman. Sandra Audi. Jessica Jordan. Jade Hanzalik. Elizabeth Crawford. Georgetta Anderson. Jordan Christ. Lauren Tank. Coral Bierman. Kelly Horn. Haley Eagle. Cecilia Karen. Jack Billion. Abby Yang. Tyler Birchbach. Brittany Steenerson. Devin Van Dyke. Jordan Winberg. Jeffrey Canispool. Monica Petro. Nicole O'Dell. Ryan Smith. Lauren Rolf. Brooklyn Elan. Kelsey Dahl. Jordan Burns. Mackenzie Kilkelly. Samuel Cortis. Catherine Hosley. Andrew Samro. Hannah Horner. Michael Wolf. Kenneth Novak. Kayla Snook. Stephen Bellows. Mystery Daniels. Christina Roloff. Raina Davison. Bridget Scott. Samantha Sherman. Byron Hoffman. Maddie Lunn. Matthew Charade. Yajia Jow. Megan Joyce. Aaron Berglund. Emily Milkey. Sierra Colin Colhagen. Sorry, Erica Rockheim. McNearney. Grant Rockheim. Lucas Kellogg. Jeremy Huff. Michael Freund. Mary Van Lu. Brian Carrier. Samuel Kiefer. Xiu Liu. Samuel Schaus. Michelle Krejci. Christopher Chesky. Nina Perkins. Sung Wook Park. Amber Winnerstrand. Young Hee Ri. Nathan Weber. Tara Gudarzi. Louise Fine. Hanya Hariri. Marissa Callan. Maggie O'Malley. Emily Harris. Stefani Vestal. Andrew Germain. Jordan Diorio. Jennifer Nguyen. Samantha Carley. Madeline Hoover. Hannah Stevenson. Kelsey Tomato. Drew O'Hare. Brooke Neeson. Stella Vishnichik. Jessica Grill. Clarinesha Davis. Rachel Malati. Thomas Kraus. Maria Hobby. Vanessa Gunter. Lauren Williams. Jennifer Lynn Anderson. Mahana Simmons. Malen. Malen, Tule sorry, Tulea Plata. Paige Bystrom. Cristal Chavez. Michelle Suderman. Lourdes Muir. Margaret Bush. Sarah Goodrich Ryan. Allison Garrick. Evan Casey Lish. That it? No. Emily Millen. Lauren Henley. Karen Haverberg. 
Jennifer Stolp. Kenya Heredia. Maxwell Chum. Samantha O'Neill. Shab Shabazz Khan. Ku Tao Lee. William Eddy. Michael Q. Tyler M. Cashman. Tuchen Kong Yang. Kendra Smith. Chekang Feng. Rachel Robinson. Yong Tong Ye. Molly Johnson. Shekman Lun. Kristen Chep. Abby Blahoyak. Henry Price. Sarah Clifton. Austin Miller. Julian Condi. Andrew Laser. Wendy Herr. Remya Perincherry. Brian Larkins. Jessica Troyan. Daniel Peterson. Cassandra King. Patty Vang. Kali Dingman. Hodan Mohammed. Eleni Paulson. Yaret Sanchez Erdogan. Emily Fusilis. Stamati Stamatiu. Morgan Faith. Madison Critchley Paul. Elizabeth Zabel. Malaika Magamola. Ha Young An. Yesong Park. Ashton Juris. Selma Talib. Morgan McAfee. Ashley Vong Suvan. Brian Gabrielson. Mimi Faven. Amber Schwab. Jiwon Choi. Megan Howe. Jo Yong Kim. Taylor Obetz. Ji Yoon Im. Aaron Grunholtz. Yi Yoon Kim. Joe Vang. Heather Roseline. Kevin Ray Bayer. Helene Karp. Fu Chi Yang. Merritt Dahl. April Mua. Samantha Sullivan. Tracy Gang. Alexandra Schroeder. Kaunu Shong. Brooke Eilefeld. Nathan Winters. Cassandra Gross. Joseph Belrose. Matthew Newby. Nicholas Schmidke. Brandon Adams. Chrissy Olupu. Kristen Nyson. Akokem Amin. Matthew Oleschak. Tanea Johnson. Peying Chuyang. Catalina Grisales Rodan. Pochia Tau. Gyatri Cynthia Pratna, Pratna Peni. Taylor Deno. Lyra Fontaine. Christina Persad. Sarah Knudsen. Leah Frank. Iman Port. Dua Ziong Xiong. Jordan Nelson. Kalisa Tetro. Madeline Gilbertson. Tyler Foley. Taylor Baca. Paula Olson. Leila Gazal. Rachel Kerez. Jacob Osterman. Crystal Zheng. Kaylee Hauf. Madison Bearson. 
Megan Caulfield. Allison Mass. Jaina Tilstra. Samuel Lewis Spacek. Marissa Noble. Lance John Binsky. Ashley Stagg. Paige Anderson. Ashley Vang. Michaeli Close. Jamie Margetta. Elise Holm. Daniel Ballman. Matt Amanda Mackhart. Stephanie Mann. Anthony Jacobson. Matthew Smith. Garrett France. Rachel Starkman. Shadera Strange. Thomas Bean. Joseph Regan. Laura Burness. Ryan Meany. Josephine Hen. Sarah Adams. Paul Anger. Madeline Hansen. Luke Rush. Haley Kinsella. Brad Rudolph. Alema J. Ashatson. Joseph Lyle. Jeremy Hemsworth. Hannah Olson. Ekaterina Albrecht. Rebecca Angleiter. John Harkness. Marina Bryant. Alyssa Moe. Jillian Crocker. Quinn Handel. Marty Shanahan. Michaela Dillon. Samantha Weaver. Alexandra Chisel. Hillary Hercules. Andres Hansen. Madeline Bennett. McCall Beeble. Caitlin Anderson. Michael Lindblom. Ashley Ray. Shannon Griffin. Tracy Conway. Kelsey Sorensen. Samantha Callahan. Aubrey Elstadt. Jessica Stewart. Anne Davinsky. Emma Glasser. Janice Cristanti. Andy Gutierrez. Lakwi Hong Kong. Brianna Vitens. Ching Lam. Bryn Simpson. Xiao Yan Tang. Shannon Bain. Desiree King. Bennett Batsley. Tess Ergen. Allison Fruin. Sim Lacamp. Natalia Bagri. Catherine Day. Cody Strickland. Yoshia Lo. Alice Zo. Stormy Peterson. Mara Keller. Elliot Brooks. Brittany Swain. Madeline Carr. Saha Hussein. Jessica Edwards. Raja Razana. Atessa Madge. Megan Palma. Tandra Jefferson. Carly Hegg. Alexander Larson. Catherine Campbell. Caitlin Morrison. Eric Anderson. Hunter Cohen. Megan Johnson. Hunter Moore. Alex Cohen. Garrett Horwitz. Jennifer Wilprecht Walzak. Maxwell Hendricks. Colin Bruner. Katie Wynn. 
Paige Strohsheim. Hannah Saban. Ashley Fink. Emily Mongan. Karen Anderson. Mackenzie Harding. Jacob Ogren. Daisha Nolan. Connor Patty. Samantha Karen Cabrera Vianuya. Penny Schwang. Demarcus McCoy. Meng Fei Bang. Bolston Jones. Nuku Arthur Cha. Jacqueline Sather. Mariah Haggerty. Spencer Leary. Kurin Burun. Warlands Minor. Didi Olinger. Snoti Chapa. Zoe Halliday Gadea. Kimberly Haugen. Khalib Dilaratinus. Hannah Oaks. Jennifer Schofield. Robert Mason. Cho Kwan Lee. Eva Gibney Jones. Michu Dabalun. Annie Johnson. Jacob Urban. Lindsay Strand. Natalie Kay. Thomas Dankers. Sofia Venturo. Christina Shirakova. Haley Davis. Kaylee Dolly. Zling Gao. Aaron Anderson. Ching Sha Ling. Andrew Schwartz. Ashley O'Brien. Emily Trudeau. Connor Whipley. Haley Hall. Shannon Johnson. Mason Nunemacher. Caitlin Linder. Brittany Williams. John Pride. Sierra Jones. Erica Hedke. Ariana Consor. Marit Lise. Samantha Oxborough. Alexis Skirmer. Ada Yenka Ayendai. Nolan Busi. Boonprapa Ektanik Fong. Tyler Gregg. Christopher Lee. Benjamin Larson. Danica Longshore. Joa Yang. Gabrielle Espina Velosa. Jeffrey Becker. Laura Anderson. Laura Foote. Bobby Henderson. Salvador Zaragoza. Michael Gould. Cassandra Nogel. Alexander Hepburn. Erica Chose. Na Fong. Emma Stonall. Mai Lee. Allison Dickey. Andrew Nordenstrom. Carly Bolin. Blair Hansi. Caitlin Hilliard. Kimberly Sperry. Angelica Bailey. Kiera Linford. Alexa Keenan. Stephanie Sorensen. Casey Giordano. Madeline Wallman. Miranda Olinger. Ona Titova. 
Leary Berglund. Zoe Cobb. Spencer Knott. Melissa Swear. Shannon Lenny. Simon Osbeck. Tanner Helgren. Laura Jorgensen. Madeline Larson. Lucian Dieterman. Vanessa Quinn. Haku Lee. Abigail Kane. Mani Tao. Haley Lim. Jordan Dahlheimer. Ashley Haney. Kira Nelson. Kelly Hoful. Gina Vantomi. Carlin Jackson. Alicia Dantzler. Bradley Parker. Cassandra Norman. Adam Abuaish. Avery Wong. Andrew Tashney. Mitra Rasmussen. Carissa Hansen. Kevin Flanagan. Dylan Hansen. Catherine LeMay. Aaron Wold. Christine Sell. Alex Deming. Anna Raisler. Andrew Ganyu. Gina Carr. Matthew Brooke Anderson. Stephanie Kula. Parker Lemke. Ray Engel. Michael Shipka. Rebecca Prosser. Megan Bailey. Charles Kennedy. Hannah Tracer. McCullough Mishke. Thomas Westad. Ashley Sogla. Justin Fredrickson. Juliana Trilevin. Raha Khan. Marina Cooperman. Jennifer Covers. Sarah Stolkartz. Jamie Biermeyer. Zainab Suju. Sandra Berg. Anna Slick. Aaron Monasterio. Lindsay Wenty. Lauren Kerwick. Alexa Wright. Rebecca Scott. Garrett Tussler. Teal Johnson. Kia Farhan. Elijah Rankin. Anne Milliburn. Jordan Pastor. Amanda Snyder. Rachel, Rachel Rasky. Betsy Helfand. Jordan DeVille. Megan Holden. Sophie DeLoreais. Hannah Yeskel. Megan Anderson. Blair Emerson. Troy Beckman. Taylor Noctegal. Patrick Raydeer. Mara Emmons. Megan Fritz. Maggie Len Burns. Keegan Letty. Haley Engie. Brittany Schmitz. Thomas Hackbarth. Julia Kelly Urban. Samantha Peters. Vanessa Montalvo. Lisa Drew. Madeline Fixdahl. Catherine Vasquez. Mary Elizabeth Harden. Hannah Moulet. Natasha Gomez. Camille Buche. Samantha Hermson. Paris Delaney. 
Monica Briggs. Lee Latham Jr. Shadi Ferdosi. Connor Chapman. Daniel Niren. Yer Lohr. Tessa McFerrin. Taylor Smith. Bailey Meyer. Taylor Lang. Jordan Kundkel. Emily Skeels. Jacob Soper. Krista Kaner. Aaron Higmeyer. Emily Garbrecht. Hannah Oderko. Kelly Jean Martinson. EJ T. Kelsey Pollock. Aaron Slayton. Kelly Ide. Ellen Lindsay Cucciarella. Jacqueline Jax. Krista Boyum. Zachary Miller. Kelly Gould. Taryn Ibach. Jessica Brown. Amanda Miller. Casey Orvitas. Nijum Dota. Alyssa McCoy. Le Liesel Chop Miller. Britta Springer. Stuart Haviland. Lauren Richardson. Daniel Cronquist. Michael Molina. Jessica Ryan. Matthew Molina. Ruby McRoberts. Jacob Paulson. Courtney Otto. Jennifer Hankey. Lauren Spadini. Allison Craneberg. Chow Yan. Joshua Jones. Tanner Stork. Cody Nelson. Ashley Curtis. Clarissa Fenimore. John Kruger. Andre Boone. Emily Tucker. Roman Zielinski. Tess Gonyer. Dana Davenfay, Davenport Fay. Christopher Bergen. Zachary Doherty. Elizabeth Forbes. Davila Reese. Claire Godfrey. Aaron Christensen. Juliet Farmer. Paul Kramer. Lindsay Steer. Taylor Stanley. Alexandra Ryan. Blake Murray. Kinsey Johnson. Ellie Decker. Caitlin Fortin. Travis Anderson. Claire Chamberlain. Yina Yu. Lindsay Akini. Nathan Bourgeois. Mary Peterson. Shannon Fleming. Savannah Naini. Caitlin Barden. Holly Peterson. Helen Teferro. Hannah Bastani. Claire Anderson. Thomas Flynn. Ellie Brunette. Anna Schleek. John Konzor. Gaosu Ving. Brittany Bocamp. Lauren Maybe. Meredith Cannon. Kevin Clancy. Shannon Malarski. Andrew Colo. Alexandra Hansen. Emily Hardell. Jeremy Clotier. Samantha Gearan. Clarence Brian Williams. Kimian Wynn. Hyunjin Bach. Ginny Wynn. Hayung Cho. Jason Fan. Yunji Xiao. 
Randy Tong. Yujin Oh. Sarah Duver. Hyunjin Kwan. Jessica Lieberman. Hyunkyu Park. Sarah Reed. Yongyeon Nam. Elizabeth Burfine. Allison Myers. Luke Techmeyer. Shayna Thompson. Tyler Schaefer. Patrick Kamiski. Joseph Bauer. Damian Johansson. Jonathan Borchardt. David Booth. Jeff Mide. Judy Pathamavon. Christy Mide. Caitlin Ito. Okay. Matios Gebrehavit. Sarah Hofseth. Randy Jakeaway. Yishuan Gong. Andrew Maxwell. Angela Wong. Mary Stokes. Celine Ting. Sin Chan. Serena Lowe. Jai Wu Li. Dexter Shijian Wong. Joseph Chronic. Yi Tang Ti. Hong Yong Li. Minling Jill. Emily Redzankowski. Nicole Carlson. Xu Xian Lim. Rajan Wood. Huan Huan Zhu. Adam Johnson. <laughs> Stephen Montgomery. Mackenzie Birchstrand. Jeff Tay Matillis. Masha Aduni. Allison Thompson. Shauna Vansu. Sai Shu and Locke. Jacob Sorensen. Rachel Tondo. Rachel Aqua Afria Tondo. Kyle Hikes. Christian Olson. Nathan Gertis. Jeffrey Walner. Hallie Nevels. Jared Downs. Hailey Boston. Brianna Ripley. Shelby Lesky. Aditi Pradeep. Danielle Mulkin. Monica Chung. Jamie Viger. Nikita Deval. Rebecca Massa. Sarah Meradian. Lainey Dunn. Adrienne Lundy. Megan Eichstead. Suzanne Beckel. Might as well take Yan Yin Hung. That's it. Uh, Elisa Trudell. Fan Yi Cheng. Jennifer Burns. Do Shun. Darby Sinjem. Jason Lee. Talia Seville. Aaron Matson. Leah Black. Claire Seltstru. Catherine Galloway. Wei Wang. Mohammed Sakala. Yu Chun Wu. Marcus Kerrigan. Ching Wei Chen. Jared Kerrigan. Chan Bao Li. Shika Sagi. Yan Fei Zhang. Colin Amori. Xiao Ni. Jamie Anderson. Aaron Gallert. Michaela Granning. Chua Li. Winter Brin. Christine Brower. Laura Sweeney. Shannon Peterson. Samantha Jasinowski. Liliana Gala. Aman Bakta. Todd Barron. Megan McNeil. Nicole Volz. 
Terran, Terran Bitterly. Cha Ching Bei. Helen Kirsch. Winya Wang. Jesse Lindsay. Natalie Lau. Helena Dawn Marlow. Sun Yen Wang. Henry Reimer. Bailey Berg. Lexi Diedrich. Delaney Rieger. Xiaojun Li. Catherine Stanek. Lei Shi. Danica Raga. Zhao Xu. Marco Cruz Blanco. Xiao Xuan Zhu. Maria Lazaro. James Jones III. Clarissa Goldsmith. Alexa Townsend. Brianna Ives. Carolyn Walsh. Saba Mesfin. Madeline Ebus. Misu Kim. Alexandrin Dunlap. Elizabeth McClurg. Heather Bolingbo Turnblad. Bridget Baco. Fronita Williams. Jessica Stoll. Jonathan Pressrude. Carl Johnson. Rachel Hauser. Grace McQuillan. Anna Lee Mason. Amanda Desotel. Lindsay Hamlet. Hannah Ward. Corrine Spaeth. Glory Young. Stephanie Bunting. Sarah Hagili. Kaylee Fishman. Sienna Ellison. Nicole Hatfield. Brittany Osgood. Clara Manning. Teresa Conley O'Connell. Jessica Brown. Elizabeth Ryan. Hannah Ackelman. Nicole Tierney. Bradley Arrington. Anna Collins. Travis Bridell. Alexandria Gallagher. Christian Bramer. Chloe Ganson. Colin Bramer. Keegan Brown. Terry Mickleby. Bailey Putney. Samantha Alisankas. Janae Dalene Matson. Shyla Zappo Monteroso. Shannon Lee. Caitlin Johnson. Emily Meyer. Aaron Hauger. Connor McCarthy. Karen Tao. Aaron Movoy. Gia Lee. Rachel Dobbs. Shen Young Park. Taylor Kotke. Maggie Power. Colton Fritz. Lauren Brumbach. Haley Sullivan. Max Paschal Zimbel. Vera Novitskaya. Zachary Miller. Benjamin Hewlett. Raylan Shoup. Caitlin Joyce. Kimberly Thompson. Emily Niederhaus. Sadia Khan. Blake Zieger. Shazia Khan. Bailey Caldwell. Alexandra Barrier. Jessica Romo. Zainab Khatoun. Danielle Spiziri. Maliha Bolioglu. Alan Amundsen. Pascal Filatra. Logan Rogi. Dina Fadness. L Logan Kramer. Heidi Knobber. Logan Misiewicz. And music. Ryan Kohler. 
Ashley Herring. Xiaoping Zhang. Dana Widener. Kayla Latart. Ross Acampro Overline. Kai Kropchevsky. Carly Seliger. Bessie Brown. Chelsea Nolan. Amanda Lund. Brady Hayes. John Walters Jr. Peter Mariuto. Delina Kotzenbach. Joel Fernandez. Karen Freustad. Veronica Schwen. Ariel Goodman. Oh, Ariel. Kayla Marin. Christina Manel. Cassandra Williams. Serena Lawal. Connor Johnson. Zachary Sh Sh Daniel Charten. Hoyan. Clara Egan. Mary Ruller. Monica Klinkman. Sarah Connor. Junggu Kang. Xiao, Xiao Xuan Ma. Aryang Jun. Yiting Li. Samantha Launder. K Ma. Anna Gleason. Mei Young. Brianna Trinidad. Crystal Jarvis. Kaya Bennett. Megan Vu. Scott Carr. Heying Chan. Ronald Dixon. Madeline Beckman. Haesung Ko. Kimmy Tang. Eric Leingang. What? Michael Wu. Colin Johnson. Cashin Chen. Christopher Schnettler. Gladys Lee. Suzanne Betts. Xiao Yu. Coke Sam. Jia Li. Alicia Ji Hoon Lim. Hey Rian. Corey John Mork. Sana Prescott. Andrew Schumacher. Sun Jung Lee. Ronald Markison. Jong Hyun Choi. Megan Shirley. Ken Law. Megan Gullifer. Connor Gatenby. And last Kelsey and not least, Damel. Maximilian Prieto. Isaac Chan. Lane Cross. Ryan Scott. Goldie Gopher. <laughs> Dean Coleman, it is my pleasure to present the 2015 College of Liberal Arts degree candidates. It is now my pleasure to ask Regent Peggy Lucas to formally confer the degrees on our graduates. Regent Lucas, I am honored to present to you the candidates who have completed requirements for a College of Liberal Arts degrees.
Dean Coleman, thank you for inviting me here today. It's a particular pleasure for me to represent the Board of Regents here today because long ago I too received my degree from the College of Liberal Arts at the University of Minnesota. Believe me, my graduation was nothing like this. To the graduates, ex extend congratulations. We are here to celebrate not only your achievements, but to celebrate the potential that you have to make a difference in this world. You will go on to serve your communities, your state, your nation, and of course, the world as well. To your families and friends, thank you for your incredible support as these graduates achieve these degrees today. Now, will the graduates please stand? Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the regents, I now confer upon you the degrees for which you have qualified. Congratulations and let's acknowledge your achievements. Congratulations, graduates, congratulations, family, families and friends who have helped support our students through these years. Our graduates have many reasons to be proud of the accomplishments that they take with them into the communities of Minnesota, our nation, and the world. We will likewise be very proud to welcome you back on your next visit to campus as alumni of the College of Liberal Arts at the University of Minnesota. We have just one final detail that we need you to take care of. Families, you may have a photo moment here if you want to, if you want to prepare. I invite all of you to move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left and to declare to the world that you are now a graduate of the University of Minnesota. In closing, I ask you all to join our soloist, Philip Zawiza, Associate Professor, School of Music, in singing Minnesota, Hail to Thee. It's true. 